When I was at medical school, for the first two years, I was making extensive lecture notes on all of the content, and I was doing okay in exams. Fast forward to my last few years, I didn't make any lecture notes at all, I was working for way less time, but my grades were so much better. In this video, I'm gonna show you a fun, social, and free way that you can learn content for medical school without making any lecture notes at all. My name is Kieran, I'm a junior doctor and a comedian, so if you're new here, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Let's get into it. This is all about those words that you hear again and again, active recall and spaced repetition. And I'm gonna to talk to you practically about how you can make something for yourself around these principles. When you think about exams, you've got to imagine that there's an examiner who's looking at the content and having to write questions from that. If you can get yourself into that mindset, you're not gonna be aimlessly learning things. The way I used to do this is by making flashcard questions and I'll show you the method that I used and how you can then use those flashcards to learn from. Let's say you've had a week of lectures on the respiratory system. What you then need to do is go through the lecture and have a look at the slide and think, can they actually ask me any questions from this? If there's no obvious questions, move on. If there is an obvious question, take one of these flashcards. So get a set of flashcards in different colors and take one set of flashcards for one particular system. So for example, respiratory might be blue. Take your blue flashcard and write down that question. In the corner of the flashcard, I used to write resp for respiratory and then I used to write the question. So for example, the question might be, what are the causes of pleural effusion? So I would write, what are the causes of pleural effusion? And maybe I've read my lecture slides and there's three causes that they've talked about that they want us to know. I would then write in brackets three. So then I know that that question is worth three points. On the back of that flashcard, I would then write the three answers. I would go through either the whole set of lectures or all of the conditions that you wanna go through. And then you'll have a set of blue cards for respiratory. Repeat the same process for things like cardiology, for things like renal, for things like psychiatry if you're doing that. Whatever you're doing, make a separate set of flashcards for it. You're not aimlessly making notes from lectures, you're picking out questions from lectures and making those into flashcards. The first half of this is making the flashcards, which is gonna set you up really well for the second half, which is where you actually go to learning and consolidating that information. Making a question embraces the use of active recall, which is a much more efficient way of learning than passive recall. Passive recall is just reading something, active recall is trying to answer a question about that thing. Let's say it's now time for revision. I've got loads of different sets of flashcards. Now I wanna try and do one that either I know I'm less good at or that I've not done recently. Let's say I've picked the renal system. Guys, if you've made it this far, make sure to smash that subscribe button and the notification bell so you get to know when new videos are coming out. I'm also aiming to get to 100 likes on this video, so if you could help me out, it would mean a lot. Anyway, let's get on with the video. I've got the renal system and I can go through it. So I can read the question. So for example, what are the symptoms of pyelonephritis? And it might have four points. So I'm after four things, dysuria, um, loin to groin pain, temperatures, hematuria, whatever I've said, and I'm going to answer that question either on paper or out loud so you're actually doing it, and then turn that flashcard around and see if you've got it right. If you've got that right, you can stick it in one pile. If you've got it partially right, you can stick it in a second pile and write an X on it. So you know you didn't get that all right. If you didn't get any of them right at all, you can take that and you can write a little circle on it. So you know that actually that's a really difficult question. Once you finish that whole set of cards, you then want to go through the ones that you didn't get right at all and redo them. If you get them right in the first pile, if you don't get them right in the second pile and mark them again, if you get it wrong again, put it into the third pile and then do the same thing with the ones you got partially right and keep repeating that process until you've got all of them right. Once you've done that, your revision for renal is done. The way you can make this fun and the way you can make it social is by involving a friend as well. So you can give them a set of cards and you have a set of cards and you can ask each other questions like that. By doing this active recall you're really consolidating and learning that information and this spaced repetition 
basically means that the questions that you're less good at, you should be doing more frequently. When you're at a point where you're close to exams, what you can do instead of doing a whole system is that you can flick through the cards, look for ones with X's and O's on and just do those ones because those are technically the ones that you tend to be getting wrong. This is a really good way of actually learning information rather than passively writing it out and having it wash over your head. I found this method really good and I wish I'd started doing it earlier, but now I'm glad I'm able to share it with some people and hopefully you can find it useful.